Hi folks and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thanks for watching. First and foremost, some great news. Thanks to everybody that the channel has now over a thousand subscribers. And I want to thank everybody that's subscribed. Thank you so much. Uh, it means an awful lot uh, and thank you very much for your support. And um, the reason I haven't uh, been uh, posting anything recently uh, is, is simply because of all the modifications and refurbishment of the house. Uh, it's, it's been absolute chaos here for the last uh, nine months or so. Builders coming and going, walls being torn down, dust everywhere. Um, so I really haven't had the time um, to actually sort of put anything uh, meaningful together. And I have been out um, imaging in the odd occasional night, but I've, I haven't been able to had the time to actually sort of put anything together until now. So uh, I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about some uh, modifications that I've done to the observatory and to my imaging rig. And then uh, I'll, I'll show some images that I've taken over the last few months, particularly uh, using the ASCAR um, 300 FRA, which I reviewed in, in the last uh, post that I, that I did. I've had to make some modifications to the, to the uh, mount on my uh, astrophotography rig. Uh, the first being um, that actually I found out that when I did the calculations to figure out how much concrete the um, pier needed to be uh, fixed to, um, I actually forgot to take into account that the the um, the decking that the domes mounted on was actually on a slope, which when I levelled it meant that the the um, concrete block wasn't as proud as of, of the floor as I wanted it to be. Uh, so consequently what that led to was uh, I was really limited in terms of declination, uh, the declination of targets I could use because what was happening was because the pier was lower than I anticipated. Uh, the lip of the aperture was actually uh, uh, obscuring uh, a lot of the field of view from e even fairly uh, high targets. So what it did was actually uh, produce this, I had this uh, extension pier from the old uh, EQ6 so I actually had to modify it and machine and drill uh, parts of the upper um, puck uh, of the extension so that it would fit the EQ8 uh, base uh, and also would fit uh, onto the um, puck for the EQ8 but actually keep it so it, it couldn't move. So that's given me an extra what more 8 to 12 inches which really has solved the problem and given me a lot more um, a lot more freedom in terms of the target's uh, declination that I can actually image now. So I'm quite pleased with that. The other modification I've made is to the off-axis guider. Uh, previously, uh, in order to focus the image on the, the guiding camera here, I'd have to loosen this nut here and move this in and out which wasn't very precise and um, very difficult to get pinpoint stars so what I did was actually replaced or I added a helical focuser here on the, the stem of the off-axis guider so this remains locked and I can simply focus uh, the uh, stars on the guide camera by uh, rotating the focus, uh, which means now I get pinpoint stars, improved guiding, uh, and when I change uh, from uh, change over to narrowband filters to adjust the focus is really easy without fiddling about here. And I've noticed uh, since uh, I've actually made this change, I get much, much better guiding, much better guiding now. I'm pleased to say also that uh, since the last video uh, I've been using uh, the ASCAR FRA 300 astrograph a lot more 
and I've been really, really pleased with the results, both with uh, narrow band and broadband targets. It's, this has turned out to be an absolutely cracking telescope. Uh, and I, again, we'll, we'll show some of the images I've taken with this over the last few months at the end of the video. Well, folks, that's the, that's the update. Um, just want to say again, thanks so much to everybody that's subscribed and supported the channel. If you're new to the channel and you like the content, please give us a thumbs up. And again, please consider subscribing. It doesn't cost anything and it just means you get heads up for any future content that I, I may produce. So as I say, that's the update. Uh, I'm just going to show some um, images that I've taken over the last few months uh, in between the absolutely appalling weather and storms that we've had here in the UK. Uh, I've, as I said earlier, I've, I've got out when I can, so I'm going to share some of, uh, some of them with, with you now. In particular, I've been very impressed, as I said earlier, with the Ascar 300 FRA, and there's three pictures uh, about to come up for you to look at. So, again, thanks so much for supporting the channel, and see you soon. Hope you enjoy the photographs and keep watching the skies. Watch the sky, everywhere. Keep looking, keep watching the sky.